All right, Morning Combat, CBS Sports, always getting you the biggest names. Hey, let's bring in one of the best welterweights in the world. Kel Brook, Special K here, and of course, Saturday, November 14th, Las Vegas, ESPN in the States, and of course, in the UK on Premier Sports. Kel, you're going to be taking on Terrence Crawford, welterweight title at State. Also going back in there once again against one of the pound-for-pound pound best. Thank you for joining me, sir. How's everything going? Everything's going great. <clears throat> Everything's going great. We're out here in Las Vegas. We're climatizing with the time difference. We got here in time. We've done this hard training. We're ready. We're pumped up. We're ready to take that title off your bike. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Look, you've been one of the best welterweights uh, for a decade now. You know, I think that if there's a prototype of the, of the most well-balanced welterweight in this great era, it might be you. We've seen countless big wins. You're on a three-fight winning streak. You're 34. Last I could check, you don't need crutches to walk. Yet every interview nope. I see, <laughs> they say, Kel, you washed? You done? How does that make you feel that this is, this is the theory right now? It makes me smile. It makes me smile because I'm beating all these 24 year old young boys in, in the, on the track, you know, with a, with a heart I've got pushing on. So you're going to see in less than two weeks time what I've got left. And trust me, trust me, I've got plenty left. I am, I'm ready to, I'm ready to rock and roll. That's what I'm ready to do. All right. Forgive me for a, a poor, uh, proper uk accent here but do you have a, a bunch of little chocolate brownies left in that box for <laughs> bud crawford here brother okay yeah i've got plenty they're cooking up nicely they're cooking up like less than two weeks time i'm gonna get them out of the cooker and i'm the, the, the extra sugar on there brown sugar and then we're ready to ah, take man's out well, well for you know is there a part of you that are, that is hoping that Bud Crawford does think you're not the same guy who beat Sean Porter, who, who gave great bouts against Spence and Golovkin when you meet him November 14th. I hope so. Because if it, I hope so. If it's took me lightly, he's going to have a, he's going to have a rude awakening on, 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 on the 14th. Trust me. Because I'm coming to bring it. I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it heavily. And I am focused. I'm, I put, I've done everything asked of me in training. I'm I'm ready. I'm super fit. I'm super strong. I'm on the way. I'm ready to to dethrone the pound for pound king in in, in boxing. I'm ready. Believe Jeez. me. This is what this is what fighters this is what fighters dream about being in fights like this. And I'm this is my opportunity now to go out there. The pressure's on Terence. He's not for anything like me. I'm a I'm a, I'm a I'm a guy who fought middleweight against Golovkin. You know these guns here, yeah. These oh, brownies wow. Oh, wow. be oh, coming wow. hard, brother. Yeah, he's, he's ready to bring it there. Uh, look, Terrence Crawford's great. No, one, no one's doubting that. But he hasn't had access to, to, the, to the very best welterweights in the world, a lot of these guys that you've already faced. So is there any element to Crawford's game that you see an opening that maybe he's not as great as, as some of those victories suggest? He's got to show me that he's great. You know, I've, I've heard that he's, he's super great. But he's got to show me. Um, I've I've seen him, and he does he does he does everything very well, very well. I can't sit here saying to you that he does anything bad, but I, I I'm that guy to dethrone him. Believe me, it's written in the stars. You know, him being a switch hitter from the stable I got brought up for, who, who, you know, come through with with the famous Prince Nassim. You 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 know he is oh, yeah. Brendan Ingle with a switch hitting in the style. So when when Terence comes out and he switches it. Switch switches it in fives, you know, it won't bamboozle me because I'm used to seeing that all day long in from, from the school where, from the Ingle school where I where I got brought up. So but one thing I I can surprise him with with the power. I have got great balance, great accuracy there, great jab. And he knows this is a real fight. He knows that. Uh, you know, you're fighting Bud Crawford. He's been very quiet in the build to this. But if I'm reading the headlines, I feel like you're fighting Eddie Hearn more than you're fighting uh, Bud Crawford here, your former promoter. Uh, he's taking shots. You're coming back. I mean, look, he's a well-dressed man. I respect the waistcoat. But there's too much Eddie Hearn talk in this build-up. What happened there? You know, it's tit for tat, isn't it? You know, it's tit for tat. Eddie's a talker. I'm a fighter. 
you know, there's nothing really much to say about that, really. He was always involved. You know, we've got messages on the phone. He's always been involved. All he had to do was speak to, to Uncle Bob. And, uh, and, and he, he, were there, he were there to be, but he does the talking. We don't want to get involved with tit for tat, you know. I'm just worrying about Terence Crawford, you know. Forget all that we had here, you know. Um, there's nothing really much to say about it. He's always been involved in the fight. You know, he's got his say. He can, he's, there's two sides to every story. You know, so, you know, every, people can have their own opinion, but I know what really went off in this build-up for this fight. All right, that's fair enough. That, that's not the story that needs to be talked about. It's this fight, and look, preparing for this fight, uh, you know, I rewatched the classic, which was your bout with Errol Spence a couple of years back in the UK. You end up losing the title there because of the injury to the eye. I want to ask you as the competitor inside, though, that was a classic fight for eight or nine rounds back and forth. We've never seen Spence have to deal with that kind of pressure. Did you lose that fight and he beat you, or did your face kind of let you down when you look back on that? My face let me down. You know, the, if you were uh, the spy in the eye in the, in the training camp, it was a disgrace, you know, getting injured and, not being on training camp when we should have been there and many of the things. But I, I'm not a fighter to start saying any excuses. But, um, you know, the eye was a big effect. And seeing the guy, the fight before, I got uh, the same injury of was Golovkin. And I remember looking through the rope. Uh, we, we invited the surgeon who did my eye to the fight. And um, I remember looking back in the, going back to the corner when he could see me ruin the eye. He could see that the same injury had, had, uh, appeared on the other side of my face. And I was looking through the corner and he were like nodding his head saying, you know, no, no, it's not, it's, you know, don't, don't do it. And, you know, but obviously I've got that, I've got that big heart of mine, but I think it just thought, it just got to me, you know, and in the, in the end, you know, the, it, I just, you know, the eye and the weight and everything else, you know, it just, it just wasn't right. So, you know, uh, if we did it again, it'd be a different story. But let's, t let's get rid of it. Let's get let's sort sort Terence. Let's sort Bud out first. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I wanted to give you respect for the fight before you mentioned you move up two weight classes and fought Gennady Golovkin. And you know there's some big bollocks at stake when you did that. And I respect that. In hindsight, maybe this is crazy. Maybe it's not. Did you create a blueprint that maybe Canelo Alvarez ended up following to be the first one to defeat Gennady? I believe so. Do you? You you gave him the kind of troubles we'd never seen anybody do in those. Nobody's early days. nobody. He was destroying everyone. Nobody gave him a little welterweight like me. Jumped up to middleweight and I backed him up. And I did I did show the blueprint. Everyone wanted to like even Daniel Jacobs uh, me, me, mentioned mentioned it on on a, on the twenty four seven and and Goloff, closely would have watched that and thought. Yeah, I can beat these guys. You know, he's, he, he, you know, I can beat him. And I, cause I stood up and I, and I did what I did. But what a fight it was! What a fight it was! It was a it was a spectacular Exciting. night. Uh, a lot a lot of respect in that regard. Uh, you got a new trainer for this bout. You talked about you've been in the Ingle system forever. Talk to me about the new man in the corner and how has this helped you? He, Carlos Fermento is a is a great trainer. Um, He's a great trainer and obviously we've been working for, for 10 weeks together. We've been, he's been obsessed with Terence Crawford, watching the fights. I don't, I don't generally, I don't generally watch fights. He's made me watch, he's made me watch Terence. You know, he's made me watch uh, the guy I'm fighting. I never really watch fight, fight, the guy I'm fighting. I just adapt when I get in there and, and listen to the trainer, but he's been writing everything down what what he's seen in in his arsenal, what, what I can expose, and and um, you know he's obsessed. He's, he's so passionate about this fight, this occasion, you know. And um, but he's he's also you know relaxed at the same time. So I know that I know that I've got a, a good team around me, and the main thing is that I'm hundred percent, I'm hundred percent focused mentally. Physically, um, I'm ready to to go in there and, uh, and and give and give it my all in there. And I believe that I can. I believe that I want to become world champion, two time world champion. All right. All right. Now it's time to ask the hard questions as we wrap up here. I got to put you under the hot seat. Uh, full respect to all the ups and downs you've been in through your in your life. What's a a more harrowing 
uncomfortable thing you've went through in your time? Um, the unfortunate stabbing or coming across those leaked nudes that Amir Khan had a few years ago? Because both had to be harrowing. What's that? Uh, Lee, Amir Khan linked his genitals a couple years ago on the internet. It was awful. It was awful, Cal. Okay? I, I, just, I, I don't need that. I don't need that in my life, okay? You, you don't need that. No, uh, you're right. I mean, will, will it be a big regret if you end up retiring without fighting that guy? What the hell is going on here in boxing? Can we, I mean, come on. Exactly. You know, I think that it's, it's, the fans, it's the fans what are missing out. It's the fans what are missing out. You know, it's... You know, you know me. I'll get in there with anyone, and it's the it's the English fans. The world, well, the world wants it. The world fans want to see it in boxing, but he's not letting it happen. He's not letting it happen. You know that. You know it's not on my side that this fight can't happen. But we'll come to that after we deal with Terrence. Okay. One day, Wembley, eighty-one k. We'll set, we'll tell Carl Frotz to sit down. All right. We uh, you'll you'll set a new mark there. Uh, Kel Brook, it's been a pleasure to chat with you, man. Saturday, November fourteenth. ESPN in the States, Premier Sports in the UK, 10 p.m. Eastern time. You and Terrence Crawford, final question here. Uh, you got to think about what it would be like to win this fight. What does that moment feel like to be back on top, to have one of those welterweight titles, to be the guy who some people think are the pound-for-pound pound king? What the hell is that going to feel like? Unbelievably insane. I can't really put into words what that feeling would be like. I can't put into words. You know, to to go in there and beat the pound for pound fight, best fighter in the world, and become two time world champion, and uh, crazy. Great stuff, man. Best of luck to you. Can't wait to check out this fight. Talk about. TV taught me how to dream. It was a life jacket. I don't think you can be an artist and not touch people.